guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Mason, also Mason Lee down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and click that bell if you wanna hear about every single time I post. And in today's video, I will be sharing some tips on how to start a bullet journal, easy and some affordable tips. So first up, what is a bullet journal? A bullet journal is a way to organize your life with a piece of paper and a writing utensil and you can organize your habits, to-do lists, make a planner, your sleeping, your mood, your expenses, your shopping, packing lists, literally everything. Mind blown. So, when I first started bullet journaling, all I did was I literally just had a notebook, like scratch piece of paper that you like found in the bottom of your backpack and a pen because I saw it on Pinterest and I was like, well, this looks kind of cool. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. So what I did is on Pinterest, I was like looking at inspiration and like seeing all these cursive like headers. And I was like, this is, this is sick. So I like you, I used Pinterest's inspiration and like just started writing it on like scratch piece of papers for like daily things. And I had like a pile of like my mood tracker, my sleeping tracker, just in like scratch, like old pieces of work of like literally homework. It was on my homework. And I was doing the headers everywhere. This is like eighth grade. I think this was summer after eighth grade. And I'm a uh, rising senior now. That's also crazy. So this was like eighth grade. And I was like, well, this is like really cool. And I love, like I'm creative, but I can't draw to save my life. So this was like, the best creative outlet I could do at home. So, like I said, I literally just used a pen and a piece of paper, but then from there, that summer, I was like, hmm, I wanna find some more stuff. So I went to like Michael's and I would go to Hobby Lobby. There is one near me, but there's one like by my grandma's house and there's one like an hour away at like the cool mall near me. So I was like, hmm, I'm gonna find some cheap stuff. But thing is, cheap brand off brand pens don't really work. I bought all the off-brand gel pens, calligraphy pens. That stuff just doesn't work. Sorry. It is worth splurging, spending your money, find coupons. What I suggest, like, investing your money is Tombow brush pens. These create your bullet journal. These make it awesome, make it look pretty without even trying. I had bad handwriting also before bullet journaling, and so, tip for high school if you want to have good handwriting. So, these Tombow brush pens, um, let's do this one. This one is number 815. It's like a cherry red, I'm pretty sure. It's a calligraphy pen on one side and a marker on the other side. So you can literally do anything with this. You can just create one spread with one Tombow pen. These, like, this, buy, I bought a pack, the pastel pack, and that, like, literally, that just, like, it, it, changed, it changed the game. A black pen in the pastel pack that just changes your whole bullet journal also link down below is my blog and i have a blog page with all the links so livinglivevirtually.com dash like how to start a bullet journal easy so check that out if you want all the links for this and from there i was like this is pretty cool let's buy some more stuff in videos i saw people using washi tape and i was like hmm what is this so i bought some washi tape let me go get some okay i'm back but i okay this is like so washi tape, I always just like, you can find it like super cheap, like anywhere. And it's just like decorative tape. I have donuts and like, I have so many. I have ones that say the days of the week. And I have like a lot of just like pink ones because all my spreads, a lot of them are pink. And this is like not even this. I have like literally think, I think a hundred rolls of this. Cause like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and like Amazon, you can find this stuff for super cheap. And then like big packs and especially like Michaels and Hobby Lobby. Oh, I just hit the camera. You can find it in like big packs and they have such good coupons and like deals all the time. Like it will be like 40% off all washi tape. So like that is great. And also I was like, I don't want to do this on notebook paper anymore. So I went to Michael's, went to the notebook section and found a dot grid journal. This is like a faux soft leathery suede thing. And I, you can you can definitely see my progress with handwriting through this. Like, you you can you can tell. I worked so hard on my handwriting. Like, gotta be honest. Um, so that's my handwriting done. I mean, it's like decent, getting better. But yeah, um, I practice my fonts. You can definitely see in my other videos in my 
blog. I have stepped up from this, stepped up. Mm, look at that, this is like 2018 me. Maybe 2017, I don't know what year this was. Probably like 2017, how old was I then? Yeah, 2017 me. So like how I did my spreads also, I would get like the Crayola markers in like my marker drawer from my like desk, my family desk downstairs. So that's, but that's when I, after that I was like, the crayon markers are great, but Tombow pens are the way to go. Do not try to get knockoff Tombow pens. Like these, this is what you need. Like I have tried the Michaels brand Tombow pens. I threw them all away. They were horrible. They died after one use. Like don't get it. Also, Tombow is a great resource for printable. I practice, they have like printable calligraphy things where you like practice your up and down strokes. And that is like, I would practice that for so long to get all my like calligraphy just right. So that is how I learned how to do that. It's so, like highly suggest Tombow website, great resource. Also, Pinterest. I have a Pinterest board called Bullet Journaling, which is also linked in my blog post. And that is where I get all my inspiration. And you also can find, if you search like bullet journaling printables, you can find like cool, if you don't have a grid and you're just doing it on notebook paper, you can get like mood trackers already made for you. If you honestly don't even want to make it, like you can just do that. I would like, at one point I literally got, um, what are those clasps called? the little like ring class from jewelry making and I would get notebook paper and stack up all my printables and get that little jewelry like clasp like circle thing and just make rings I made like my own notebook literally like I made my own spiral notebook so I did that um so that was interesting that was like another phase of my life that was also maybe ninth or eighth grade but like you can do that if you don't want to make it yourself, like literally just make your own, like just bind it together yourself, make your own, make your own book, go for it. But I have like, I've had other bullet journals, but I don't know where they are. I've had like other forms of this from like Michael's and Hobby Lobby, but that was kind of in a bad phase. I kind of was in and out, kind of went in and out between. I also invested in a lot of stickers. A lot of mine have like run out, but this is my new favorite. It's also from Michael's. I do not, I could not like link it. I like couldn't find it, but I like like very similar 33 sheets of 1,504 stickers for planning in the blog post. This is a little bit different. It has like cute little sushis and it's like pink and golden, like tan and yellow themes, which is just kind of like, and like peachy, which is like very me. So that's very me. Um, that's why I got this and it has like cute little characters with like to do and this is like a way I like just if you don't feel like doing it just get this you can also probably buy on, you can buy on Etsy like bullet journaling stickers but I just didn't feel like buying that like literally Michaels it's so cheap all this stuff and Amazon buying like the thousand pack of the stickers like but look how cute this is like you can find such cute things um, but then recently, for like a Secret Santa thing, I think like a year or two ago, I have not really used it since because I've kind of just been like grinding with school. I'm a junior, I just like finished junior year, so I've kind of like, been, it's been really hard to like keep up with the bullet journal just because the grind. So my friend got me the Lloyd's Term 1917 bullet journal. It is hard cover. It is like, I think it's a little bit more on the pricey side, but if you're willing to invest in like, you want this to like, if you want this to go everywhere with you, like this is the one to get. It literally fits in like, I had like one of those mini backpacks, like this fits in there. Um, this could probably fit in a big fanny pack, but it's like the best for traveling. It's just like, without like, like this one was just flimsy and it kind of just like, got like messed up and like wasn't great for traveling. But this one just like slides right in, stays safe. It has like the little bookmarks. And it's just great because the markers don't bleed through the page. So no matter what marker you're using, like it doesn't bleed through. And Tombow also just doesn't bleed through in general, I don't think. But how I do it is I like to use a black pen in a solid color. But in this lately, I've just been using this for YouTube video ideas. And like I plan out my YouTube videos on here, like my April favorites. Here's my list. I normally stare at this. Right now I'm looking at my computer because I wrote out my blog post like things doing your board I put the list there and I also participated in a YouTube influence challenge thing on Facebook so I've like here are like all my notes I use that like pinky cherry color and I just took all my notes on here I just like a black pen and a solid color same as my note taking honestly like I did at one point in here I'll show you I used pastels like if you find the right colors that go together 
I love that, but this one I also love. I'll show you in a second which marker. Here's like my month from like November, I think I tried to do it again, but here it is with the gray, and this gray is a life changer. If you want a minimalist look like this zebra mild liner double-sided thing, it's like a highlighter on one side, it's great for note taking also, and then a marker on the other side. So double-sided pens like also kind of just save you money in general, because then you get like the marker and the like fun tip. So like minimalist looks like invest in a gray. The zebra does like die pretty fast, but it's just like great quality while it's working. And this has lasted me like a year. I'm not even, but it's like, it's been dying for the past couple months. So it's, I think I'm gonna have to throw it away soon, but I like don't want to because I don't remember the number that's on it. I need to order a new one. But, so like gray is like very great if you just want basic. And also I love a good thin pen thin pen so I got the Muji pens from Amazon these are also linked and I get the size 0 0.338 it is like really thin like the thinnest pen you will probably ever buy and this you can get refills like it like screws apart and literally look you can just pull out the actual pads you just buy refills of this that's why this is like pretty cheap I'd say um I think it's like ten dollars or 9.99 or something um there also are a lot of knockoffs on Amazon, so make sure you're getting the right brand Muji. Follow my links in the in the blog post because there are so many knockoffs for these. So you need to make sure you're getting the right pen. And here's like an example. I think in this, this is the thin black. But when I like a thick pen, I use the Paperwhite Inkjoy. These just make my handwriting really solid for lists. Thick pens, 0 0.7. Thick pens like make my just handwriting look like rounded and like clean. Because when I write with a thin pen, sometimes it's a little messy. But thin pens are great for bullet journaling, like this one, it's compact. But like a thick pen makes lists so nice. Here's like my workout. Um, also, bullet journaling has like helped my handwriting so much. Um, just from like practicing calligraphy and stuff, like I kind of write in cursive now. Depends on if I'm using a thin pen, like I'm in straight cursive. But when I don't want a minimalist look, um, October's on the bottom, we're just not gonna look at that. See, I did the pastels, this is from like last summer. I just did a pastel calendar and I think this was just from the pastel pack and it's just super cute. Like that's a good way to combine colors, but I think if you use any darker than pastels, like it doesn't go great, but it's whatever you're up to. Here's like my planning for 2019. I tried really hard. Um, yeah, I either go like really hard or it's like a mess. And I also created like a little key for to-do lists of like different things. Yeah. Um, so like when I have a to-do list, I have like different shapes I do on it. And also what's great about the Lloyd's Charm 1917 is there's page numbers. Also a life changer because at the beginning you create something called an index where you put the page number and then you put what's on that page number. So if you're selling like books I wanna read or like, or I just put like June pages 12, through 15 or 12 through 20 but like if you ever want to look back be like oh what books do I want to read then you go back to the index and you find what books you want to read so that's why I like pet ones like this I think also scribble maybe moleskin are page numbers and in index so that's why this is great you can buy like bullet journal bullet journal and they'll have like a lot of stuff planned out for you honestly but like it's just great very like compact it's just like the perfect size like I mean I have big hands but like I don't know, just for like holding it's like great so like for bullet journaling can just be like super simple but like recently i invested in this pen i think i've talked about it before because i love it it's the tombow tombow has a lot of different pens too they also have the twin tone which is like a marker and then a thin marker on the other side the foot i don't know how to pronounce that where's my camera okay it's also linked and it's like a thin calligraphy pen and this is like great when doing fun fonts and I write like big letters and I do the little like cursive, you know, I'll do a picture. Um, so this is like great for that once you're like ready to spice it up a little bit, but it's kind of just like bullet journaling you can either start with literally nothing or if you want to just jump right in. It's a great summer activity, especially now when you gotta, if you have a lot of time on your hands, school's over. Like for me, like I, I am taking some online classes, but they're kind of just like on my own. So this will be really helpful, like planning out my day. Sometimes I have planned out like my day time by time, like with a daily schedule, like this hour to this hour, if I'm like really busy. 
But like with school, I couldn't really do that because I had a schedule. But over the summer, it's helpful if you're like doing online courses or something. It's like great for that. And bullet journaling just, it's like really good if you wanna, if you're not like great at like drawing or something. I mean, even if you're great at drawing, like this is great also. It's great for everyone because it requires literally no skill. You just need a black pen and a notebook. Even, you don't even need notebook paper. You can use a printer paper, like white pr paper. So that's why I suggest, that's how I like kind of just started bullet journaling and how to do it like pretty simple. And like I said, like Hobby Lobby and Michaels are great like cheap alternatives, but Amazon also is because you can find, Amazon you can kind of just like find everything like that, which I like just now because I know what I like. I've tried so many different things. So Amazon's really helpful for that. Like pen wise, especially just because I just know. Um, just after you've tried a ton of things and if you just want to skip the trying and just buy the things you want, go to Amazon. But if you want to go to Michael's and find some fun washi tape, maybe some fun stickers, you can, you can find good pens, but those are just also, these are like my go-to brands, but also this is what I think most bullet journaling people would suggest. There are a few others that I've like owned one of and then it's died so I don't have it anymore. But these are like a lot of bullet journaling bullet journaling people's like go-to's I've I'm like subscribed to so many also YouTube videos are just great inspiration I just always put my own spin on it so you don't have to follow like step by step how I plan my gym you can just kind of like oh they put a line there I'm gonna do a little squiggle there like you can kind of just do it on your own you either don't try you can try super hard like this or you can just write Monday with a line like it can be like super cute like a lot of people do like I used to do like monthly themes let me show you my old one like 17. Um, I did one month I did like what is this called sunflower so at the beginning of the month what mo this is what most like basic bullet journaling people do like a cover page for the month this is July and then their monthly layout this one's great because it's bigger I just kind of like the small and like compact idea of a bullet journal like it's all just there and then like my goals and ideas and to-do list, like the main to-dos for the month. And you kind of just use those colors, um, which you can do with drawings. And that's why like June plan with me and that kind of stuff is super good for that. Just getting inspiration for like your drawings. Oh, my like go-to is like the leafy aesthetic. Then you just use like different shades of green or like pink. And then you do like hearts or something or like little flowers. Um, brain dump and then like my room reorganization it says my school supplies less. See, I did like the little flowers, like accents. That's what you would do with as drawing. Oh, and then I leave like memories from camp. MIT, you'll see it a lot. If you don't know what that means from the- Bullet journaling lingo. I had to Google it when I first saw it. It means the most important tasks, like your monthly, like I did like read books, deep clean room, pack for camp, and unpack for camp, like your main just like monthly tasks. A mini metal ruler that is approximately, I think it's half a foot, six inches. It's life changing. I was like always using like notebooks and like literally like a pen to make a straight line. Like I'd like draw against another pen. But when I found this, I think I got it from like Michaels or Hobby Lobby or something for like $2. It was life changing because it makes your lines just so crisp and clean and especially metal. I don't know why, it just like feels so much like cleaner. It also can be like held in your binder, if you have a binder. You can literally just leave it in your notebook. It's so thin. I can just like slide it right in. You can't even tell. Like I would lose it if I did that, honestly. But um, it's like just like, make sure the lines are really straight. That's like a great investment. Um, so, I think that is it for this video and comment down below with like any questions you have like I can all I will respond to all comments about I'll just respond to all comments so comment down below with any questions you have about bullet journaling and stay tuned and click that bell if you're new here about my next video which is my June plan with me I don't know if that's gonna be my next or like my next next video it's because I do have a, Ju a May favorites coming up so I have two videos that need to be done this week so Keep, click that bell so you're ready for those especially the June plan with me and like I said I'll respond to all comments follow my social media sometimes I post like bullet journaling inspiring stuff and like my organization stuff like certain pens I like I'll like post on my stories and stuff so stay tuned for that and subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up especially if you love bullet journaling and check out my blog post which has all the links 
and also my Pinterest board, which is also on the blog post, but my Pinterest is also just linked down below if you just want to follow that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you.